we all are going to enjoy it if you're just tuning in you're welcome thank you so much for tuning in please don't forget to keep us a comment where you don't understand don't forget to also share this video to one or two friends and also don't forget to send us a whatsapp message on 0023766600061 also thank you so much so we are going to look at what are those checkups that you need to do in order for you to start a family so what are those checkups that you need to do in order to start a family as a lady as well as as a man so what are those checkups that you really need to do before you start a family now talking about checkups here we are laying emphasis on the medical part because remember that before you start a family there are a lot of other issues even with your own psychology so you should be ready mentally to start a family you should be ready financially to start a family but what we are talking about here right now is about the medical part what you need to do medically what are those things those checkups you need to do medically in order to start we all know that at times you might be you might be married but you don't live in the same town with your wife with your husband at times not even in the same country so you need to fly over in order for you to meet such that you can start a family so at times you may have just limited time which you have to maximize this time at times you may be given just a month depending on your work schedule you may be given just a month to go and have a good time with your family would you have to maximize such that probably your wife would get pregnant and so on so with that if you don't do it well it is obvious that you might miss it it is obvious that let's say your husband is not around your wife is not around and you have to meet with your wife or with your husband so you just have maybe let's say one month to meet that becomes so so difficult so preparing is very important so preparation is of essence yeah if you don't live in the same town if your partner is maybe from another country so all of these preparations are so so necessary for you to do so that you can maximize the chances of you not having difficulties in terms of conceiving as a lady or impregnating your wife as a man so thank you so much for being here sister mira welcome thank you so much how are you doing so we are going to look at the part of a woman first so what are those preparation as a lady what should you prepare please we are laying emphasis on the medical part so the very first thing is ultrasound ultrasound we'll be looking at ultrasound we'll be looking at hormones and we'll be looking at other stis so the very first we are going to look at is ultrasound ultrasound here is echography what's the essence of echography when you run ultrasound that is echography you are doing it mainly to actually look at the main organs of the female reproductive system and these organs have to do with the ovaries, have to do with your womb, that is the uterus, has to do with your cervix, as well as your vagina. So when you do ultrasound and you have issues with your, your uterus, which is the womb, then it will be looked at it and your doctor will have to sort it out before you actually meet with your husband if you do ultrasound and you have issues with your ovaries your doctor will also look at it such that you can have your child without any major issue so ultrasound running doing your ultrasound as echography is actually one of the most important for you to do as a lady the next thing which is important for you to do is your hormones you need to check your hormones now the hormonal checkup is something that a lot of ladies 
pay little or no attention to it. When you talk about checkup, people just go straight to the SDIs. That is your chlamydia, your gonorrhea. That's what people go to it. People forget about the hormones. Without the hormones, you won't be able to actually menstruate. So your hormones help you to menstruate. Your hormones help you to ovulate. Your hormones help you to release an egg. So without the hormone, you will not be able to even release an egg. So understanding your hormones is of essence here. There are a lot of hormones for ladies. We have.